are you? How dare you? I thought you were talking about the song I was listening to in Smash. I can't fucking hear the songs you're playing. <laughs> and you're dead. Cool. So it was the Gerudo Valley song, so... Oh, that's also a good one. <laughs> no! Why? How? No, oh, poo. Ah! When are we gonna get double XP on a boss fight? Never. Uh-oh! Duplicity you know, real we'll form! Huh? We'll get it uh, on the uh, final boss. Get 2 XP instead? Yeah, that'd be great. Not lying, the final boss only gives you 1 XP. Rats, you killed yours! Yeah. Uh, what? He ran away. I mean, what the fuck's going on here? Did we get shell winked? You did, losers. How could I ever mistake my dear Mario for another? So, who's this girl, huh? Isn't she one of the Shadow Sirens you guys mentioned? Like how it's fucking continuity because it's the first time Piccolo meets one of the Shadow Sirens. Yeah. I like it. Fucking, they, they know what they were doing with this game. I like it. Why this is why this is pair one up with one of them. That's why this is one of the best games that Nintendo has ever made. What's really cool is, uh, during certain cutscenes and stuff, which partner you have will say different things. So you know how each time we met Miss Mouse, we always had a different party member? They always acted like, who the fuck is Miss Mouse? If you kick Goombella throughout the games, through each uh, Miss Mouse uh, interaction, she's like, oh, she's here again. Why do you still keep showing up? Just leave. Like, they have different dialogues depending on, like, who shows up for which events and whatnot. And each one has their own fucking thing, so it's like, they all have their own personalities and reactions to different events. And I like it. Oh yeah. <clears throat> uh, no, I think don't hurt to my girlfriend. Well, thanks to her, I guess. Mm. Now you came through this, okay? Yeah. Hmm. Listen, Mario. Sorry about earlier. I'd be happy to travel with you if you'll have me. Okay. Vivian has really joined your party now. Yay! What a good chapter. And I finally found Zelda. <clears throat> did we talk right about away. Vivian's gender yet? I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, we talked about it yeah. when the first time they they were talking to Grados or whatever. Yeah, yeah. We talk, Vivian's a girl. I'm saying that because in America there is nothing that alludes to her being a guy. So fuck off. My defeat. And yeah, even... we did it. End of chapter. I don't think we get it this time. Or did we already get it and I missed it? I don't fucking know. Vivian Finally is so got late. Them. She ditched them. <laughs> Look, Duplis is running away because he's a fucking loser. Oh, it's Christmas. They're doing a Christmas thing. That's why. There, There's a Christmas tree in the Shin Megami Tensei game. Oh. I haven't looked at it in a while. I am like I haven't even opened, yeah. I haven't even opened the game in a while. Holy shit! A fork in the story has occurred. There are two different ways chapter seven can play out. Two fates that await you. You can also replay the story for chapter six to unlock the other half of the story. Oh. There's oh. Two chapter seven they quests. They finally added a chapter yeah, seven. Yeah, they did. Oh boy! Time to finally open up the game again. Oh boy, you're gonna be upset considering everything's 50, level 50. How the fuck are you supposed to beat it then? Uh, have level 50 demons. Oh no, Caleb, that's so sad. That's fucking dumb. <gasps> it's your fault for not having level 50 demons. No, it's their fault for being dumb. I mean, that that is terrible, but... It is... That, that sucks. That's fucking dumb. It's almost as bad as the fucking, um... The, 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 the randomized dungeon where everything is level 60 or higher. Oh, I finally got to floor, uh, 45 out of 50 in the game. That's fucking dumb. It is. Why is everything, like, level 50? <laughs> I... Why does that even- No! What, what were they even thinking? Uh, challenge. 
that's not a challenge. That's just let's just not let's not even play the fucking game anymore. No, I mean it is very difficult to get fucking like a six star to level fifty two, because you need five five stars, and that's the most bullshit thing I've ever seen. Oh, so Tech is trying to tell us. We're trying to ask Tech what happens, but Tech doesn't want to tell us. So what Tech is doing is a roundabout way of telling us what they're going to do. Because he can't tell us because, you know, programming. So, what will happen if you collect all seven crystal stars? That's when your door opens. Yeah, that is correct. Where's the goal of Grotas? Conquer the world. We know this from last chapter. Now the third question. What is the treasure that rates behind the door? <clears throat> yep. Answer the question. So, um... It's clearly not this or this. It's this. The reason we know this is because Tech gave us two obvious wrong answers and gave us a correct answer. Yep. Bring the demon back to life. Because why would he want to hang out with it or cherish it? Tech is doing is trying to help Pete in a roundabout manner. And I think that's really fucking cool. What is required to seal up the demon again? The crystal stars correct because the other two things we've never heard of wow tech didn't tell us anything tech just told us what we needed to know in a roundabout manner so the seven crystal stars open a thousand year door and inside the thousand year door is a thousand year old fucking demon and Which, the only way to seal it is using the crystal stars it's kind of dumb when you think about that because that means that they sealed away the demon immediately after it was, you know, made or created or born or I don't, I don't think it's actually a thousand years old. I think it wrecked havoc and then someone used the crystal stories to seal it away. You know, something like that. My point is, if it's literal, that's kind of fucked. Yeah, if, it's, if it was just born and then they sealed it, that's stupid. I don't think that's true based off of what you see happen in the at the end of the game. I've received ports of a great secret in Glitzville. Two tickets, one great and evil king and one sweet young thing. Good gravy! It's P -P Bowser! Ah! So, are you... Uh-oh. Hey, where'd you go, Bowser? Well, Bowser already been to the Glitzville, so he knows how to get there, so he doesn't need to take a fucking blimp. Aha, uh -huh, it's the Bowser Copter. Kinda still weird how, you know, Bowser Jr. is the one writing this in Ultimate, instead of, you know, Bowser. Because Bowser Jr. never writes that. Oh wait, no, he does in a Yoshi story, I think. But that's Baby Bowser. Depending on which Yoshi story game you play. Caleb, look! <laughs> oh, oh, that's dumb. What happened? So this is the. L l give me a second to. I heard. Equip I this heard you like water levels. Ready to roll. Ruh -ruh. Ready to roll. Do, 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 so, do. Um, so here's the conditions of this battle. You lose if your CPU ally is KO'd. You'll occasionally take sudden damage after a little while. Wow. The enemy, the enemy is giant. The enemy is Ganon. Yay, I heard you like water worlds. Water levels, I mean. Do, 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 I like how the Goombas run away from Bowser because they know they can't fuck with Bowser. You better not fucking die, Zelda. I'm gonna kill you.
Oh god. Oh, it's Bowser! Ho ho ho! Oh look, she went to Glitzville without Bowser! Well... Guess she had, time a, she had a lot of fun! Ho ho, where he's been? Bowser went swimming. As for me, Glitzville was fantastic! The fights were so cool! I was overcome! Why, even at my age, I was shaking what my mama gave me! Caleb. That's so fucked up. I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> I forgot that was a thing. I don't. I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> I forgot that line existed. I. I didn't. I remember that because I remember I'm like, I. I fuck this game. <laughs> and then the hot dogs. Oh my gracious, Yummerly! You have fun too. <laughs> fuck it. Is my Bowser such a great character? Is that a no? It was terrible, you hear me? I swallowed a dank blooper. I wanted to have fun, but forget it, it's over. Can we sell informed Peach in the stars now? God, Bowser's such a good fucking character, I love him. Like, this game in Bowser's inside story where you get to see stuff from Bowser's perspective is so fucking cool because he's just a villain and I love it. Yep. Like, Bowser's such, like, a fun villain. He's like, I'm evil, but I'm also gonna have fun with it. Like, I'm a fun guy. Because, I mean, it, it's canon that he puts aside his differences with Mario to play tennis and Mario Kart with him. Yep. It, it's canon because of Paper Mario Color Splash. Ah! You no. know, I, th I, th mm -hmm. I think his whole, like, premise is that he's actually just a really cool guy who just wants, you know... He wants to have fun, and he, I, I think, you know, this is my head cane right here. All the times he still Princesses Peach is just literally to bait Mario into a game. You know that that wouldn't be surprising, but at the same time, I think he does want to fucking, you know, marry Princess Peach. Oh yeah, I think that's true too. But I think the whole kidnapping and the the shit they do afterwards is just kind of a a game. Yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. Do, 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 do. We got an email from Princess Peach. Okay, so you see what happened to Vivian's fucking, like, lower body? Like how it's all, like, clipped like that? Like, that is a yeah. bug that happens in even the normal GameCube game. And it's... It, it is so annoying. It, it just happens randomly when you enter and leave a new area. Oh, really? They didn't... Okay. So... I... Before we go to chapter 5, I gotta ask you something. Are we gonna do... Um, want me to try and do Pit Up 100 Trials now or after chapter 5? Because <clears throat> I think we can do it after chapter 5. For 100% fact. Because we'll be able to upgrade our characters to levels. I think chapter 5 will be fine. Yeah, do it after. Yeah. I mean, I think you could do it now, too, because you're pretty broken as is, but... Yeah. But, you know, like, it'd be safer having, you know, Chapter 5's uh, party member with, like, a shit ton of HP. So he can be your tank. <clears throat> yeah. I'm gonna go buy myself a, a couple life shrooms. Do they sell live streams here, or do I have to go underground for that? I think you have to go underground, but no, I don't remember. Here. Oh. Like, I know. Man, I wish I could play Palatina again. I remember playing SR and having fun. She's good now. Oh! Oh! What? <laughs> I, I forgot to t tell you that. Yeah, they... People think she's really good now. No, no. The issue was I suddenly start the battle and all of a sudden we're at we're both at nine hundred ninety nine percent and I wasn't ready. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, we got a book. So I I just I just kind of flipped the fuck out because <laughs> I remember having fun playing as Palatine. Oh no, before. we have to do the thing first. Oh yeah, we can't do that yet. Do you have it yet, but mate? 
much, but I remember, ah! um, I so, remember in, um, in one of KZ's streams, they were talking about how Palatina just has way too much utility in her boobs. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, uh, this is the Mega Rush. This is the other badge you want for Danger Mario. Because if you All have right. five health and you take two damage, you're in peril. And look at this. Caleb. Yeah, plus five. When, uh, yeah, yeah. This bullshit. is when you're at, I think, below three HP. Uh, we have ten star pieces. We can buy another flower saver badge. That's awesome. Uh... Ah oh, shit! It's Ouija. <clears throat> Yo, I'm Tork, and I don't, f and don't for a second think this dude's telling the whole story. The only reason I lent him my rig was because he got down on his knees and begged. And what happens? He's in it for one second before he completely totals it. Idiot! I'm not letting this dip out of my sight until he repays me five thousand coin repair cost. Wow, well, Luigi, you got our family in debt. You fucking loser! I can't believe he would do this to us. Oh, by the way, after each chapter, the uh, bad shop gets new badges it could possibly sell. <clears throat> this is actually a really good badge. Uh, we're not going to equip it because we don't have any fucking BP, but, you know, we're definitely going to get it. Alright, <clears throat> I don't get that. East, south, and then south. Okay. How many store sports do we have? We have ten. Awesome. South. Yeah. Let's see. If we get... T so we'll need, like... Mm, <clears throat> nine. So if we have... Seven. We'll need an extra three. Ten. Oh, we need so many just for the next characters I want. <clears throat> you have to unlock the ability to upgrade people. So now she has Fiery Jinx. Fiery Jinx is just an AoE fire attack that does that's really good. Yeah, it's pretty damn good. Uh, bombs die immediately from it, I think. Yeah, they do. Or they explode immediately, I yeah. forget. There we go. Uh, we're going to be using Piccolo, uh, because one faster, but I will say this, we will use Vivian. <clears throat> I like Vivian. She's a really good character. I use her a lot. I just like Yoshi the best. Vivian's my favorite. I use Yoshi for travel. Yeah. Uh, I think my favorite char my favorite party member is Vivian, but my favorite useful party member is Yoshi. <clears throat> Hi, Mr. Mustache Cutie. I'm the one with the trouble. Okay, so blah 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 blah. So she says she's trying to find a badge. She has no clue where to find it. Uh, it is in Hooktail's castle. It is in the room with um with Hooktail. So we have to go back there. Uh, in fact, it's in the same room as Hooktail. Where you have to go to the middle of the room and then use Flurry to, uh, get the badge. Ah, <clears throat> oh, damn it, I'm an idiot. I didn't have to spend 105 coins getting Happy Flower. So, everyone, right now, what we're planning on doing for our badges is most likely we're going to ignore defense in favor of everything else. So, what we need next is... Um... Vi okay, we need spike badge. We need spike badge. This is where he gets Spike Badge. Oh, that actually. Yeah, you have to be careful, Dad, buddy.
I fucking... Oh, I'm upset. The problem with this is that, like, there's the animation, and so, like, it takes a bit to, like, get into the animation for it, so... Okay, that sucks. I thought it would, uh, you know, let us go back, but nope. There we go. You know, don't you just hate it when you're trying to do a side B and it thinks you're doing a neutral B? Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, that, that's see, happened to me a couple me. of times already. I remember that happening. Trying to play Zelda, trying to do my fireball, and it won't let me. Well, the problem for me was I was also using a broken GameCube controller given to me by Paul. I've already told you how, like, I couldn't use the A buttons and whatnot, right? Or did I tell someone else about that? No, you told me you couldn't use the C stick and other inputs were wrong. Yeah, like, I'd have to press up B, like, ten times in a row to be able to do anything. It was terrible. Paul would win all the matches, and I got upset. Because I was like, I I know I shouldn't be losing to you against a character you don't know how to play and don't know what you're doing. Oh, he's still here. Okay, that's weird. So we're gonna do two main quests, uh, two trouble center quests, this one and then the other one. Yeah. Uh, the other one we can already do to begin with, because we already got the item. You know, the book. Yeah. Yeah, we already have that. <clears throat> Look at this speedrunning tactic. Lol. Young Link. How many Links are in this game? Uh, three. Man, only three? <laughs> yeah. Breath of the Wild, Ocarina of Time, slash Majora's Mask, and, uh, Wind Waker. It's Wind Waker and not Phantom Hourglass or uh, Spirit Tracks because of um, the how the way he moves. Yep. Like one of his victory oh. conditions is the exact same sprite that you see for um, in official art for uh, Wind Waker. And isn't the Zelda from a Link to the Past? Uh, yeah, it's A Link to the Past. And Ocarina of Time Ganondorf. So, two Ocarina of Times. I'm fine with that, I don't really care that much. But I like how it's different, I'm just you know, iterations entirely, so it's more unique. Oh, also I'm Sheik from Ocarina of Time, so there's three Ocarina of Times. Really, at that point, they should have added Midna. Uh, she's in this trophy. She? Midna? Yeah. Midna's a she. Thank yeah, I said you. She is in this trophy. No. Well, they should have added her as a playable character. Uh, I mean, yes, but it'd also be Wolf Link, too. And then that'd be another Link. Or add a fourth Link and just have Wolf Link. <laughs> That's so what I you just know. said. We'd have a, another link at that point. No, that's dumb. No, Minna could be by herself. Yeah, but she didn't really fight by herself in the game. You know? Yeah. Zelda never really did either. 
true, but Sheik did, and that, that's technically why Zelda was put in the game to begin with. Except for in Spirit Tracks, where you use the Phantom. Yeah, that's the only thing she actually has going for her. It's like, <laughs> look, Spirit Tracks, you know, the game that no one really played or liked, and I'm like... The only thing I like about the game was the companion for Link in that game was actually Zelda. Yeah. Instead of, you know, one... each, each Zelda game has one, like Navi, Fi, Ezlo, King of Red Lions, Midna. Yeah. I, I like how with that one, for Spirit Tracks, it's just Zelda, and I'm like, that's nice. Fuck. Well, it's Zelda and then the Al Alfonso dude, the dude that did the... Nope. Or I guess he wasn't actually... Nope, no, it, it's he, not, he it's the... just... It's actually just Zelda. Dude, I just haven't played in so long. I forgot. That's bad. Yeah. Oh, look, Cloud! Oh, yeah, he's a character that exists. Yeah, he's a, he's a character. He's a character in a game that's never going to get it actually remade. He just said it's going to get remade. To hype people up for when it never happens. Dude, can I can I even hit you, buddy? Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay. I am not used to this Zelda. God damn it. Apparently she's good. I mean, I don't know if she's good. I think I just like playing her. <clears throat> I'm just not used to her. her I've been playing Marf too much recently. I'm not used to not any having mage the range. Character. No, I'm not used to just being a mage. <laughs> oh yeah, used to being a swordsman. Ho, 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 ho. I will say this: I like this Zelda like a fucking appearance more so than the last games. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad it's this one and not Breath of the Wild Zelda. To be honest, I really. I thought this Breath one of the is Wild adorable. Zelda was cute, but at the same time, I'm like, this eh, whatever. This one is fucking adorable. Like, this she one's just downright... She also had a real nice fucking ass, but this one's just a cute girl, and that's it. It's adorable, I love yeah. it. She's just a cute girl. Breath of the Wild Zelda, is, I thought she was fine and okay. I just don't see her as a fighter. Can can I not get fucking combo womboed here, please? Thank you. Jesus. Oh yeah, I forget we have like half damage and one extra defense. Yeah. I I, I think Brother Wild Zelda was cute and fine, but I think this Zelda is much cuter and more adorable. Yeah, and this I, one I, this one I love this one. Yeah, this one. one's adorable <laughs> in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That one just has a real nice fucking ass. Cause I don't know yeah, why no. they did that. <laughs> That, that's all that that one had going for, to be fair. It's like, why did they do this? I mean, good job, that Nintendo. Is, but it's that still... That is a good voice actor. <laughs> hmm? The voice actor I said that in a good... Yeah. I said a good English voice actor. I like that, uh, you know, good British voice there. Yeah. <clears throat> I liked it. I thought it was good. I'm fine. I'm fine with it. I know a lot of people were divisive on whether or not there should be voice acting for, like, Zelda, but I'm like, eh, it's fine. I thought it was okay. It it didn't feel out of place, to be yeah. honest. It, it would be more out of place if, you know, Link was talking the entire fucking time. Oh, yeah, if Link, said a, be... if Link actually said something, I'd be upset. <laughs> I'm like, no, the joke is he doesn't talk. Like, he's a silent protagonist. Because in at least other games, Zelda did talk, you know? Yeah. Like, she just never had a fucking actual, like, voice actor. Well, he did, but no one talks about that. Wait, really? Like, there was a voice actress for Zelda? We're not talking about the CDI it's, games, right? That's what I was saying no. for Link. There, there was a voice actor, <laughs> but no one official. talked about it. That's not official. And, and no one talks about it. Because it's funny. Everyone tries... Everyone tries to ignore it even exists. 